September 9th, 2002, a new page of motorcycle racing history was about to be written. Only nine months earlier, on December 1st, 2001, Kawasaki's MotoGP project commenced. Designed by a development team of only 12 members, the machine would be extremely light, extremely fast, and to have a design that was unmistakably Kawasaki. And of course, it would be a winner. After an absence of 20 years, Kawasaki took up the ultimate challenge, returning to World Grand Prix racing. Testing started using a production-based machine. Technical data and information collected at the circuit were used in creating the new machine. From sketches to clay model, the unique form of the new Kawasaki began to take shape. Aerodynamics was vital to the design of the Kao. In a world where speeds in excess of 300 kilometers per hour are commonplace, air becomes a wall. Numerous forms were examined in a series of wind tunnel tests. Searching for the form that would let the lime green machine cut through the air was accomplished in steps that measured 1 100th and 1 1,000th. The engine layout was a Kawasaki trademark in line four. The more than 300 parts were all handcrafted and then expertly assembled by the design team engineers. Fine tuning was a process where adjustments of one micron were repeated again and again. The process was only finished when the perception and experience of the engineers were satisfied. The newly developed high-speed generator played a vital role in realizing a lightweight, compact engine. ideas on paper were beginning to take shape. August 1st, to celebrate the completion of the engine, a traditional Kawasaki engine starting ceremony was held. As if linked to the pulsing excitement of the development team, the robust engine roared to life. Even at this early stage, it was producing more than 200 horsepower. The engine, cowl, chassis and other parts developed in parallel were assembled and bench tested comprehensively. With only a month to go to the shakedown, the time remaining seemed extremely short.
September 9th. The mountains of Kyushu form the backdrop for the birth of the new machine. In the refreshing autumn air, the shakedown was about to start. Staff engineers quietly went about their jobs, holding their building excitement inside. Everyone had been waiting for this day. No one was smiling, but there was a tension in the air. Every part of a MotoGP race machine needs to be specially engineered. Not only the engine and bodywork, the myriad of parts exist solely for the purpose of racing. Shaving aluminum and molding carbon fiber are just some of the processes involved in building a winning race machine. Even the brakes and clutch received adjustments measured in millimeters. Codenamed the ZX-RR, this machine was dubbed Ninja. The Kawasaki racing team and the new Ninja ZX-RR were now ready to take on the world. The machine had been assembled for a test run and sap, waiting promptly. The birth of a new Kawasaki legend was at last at hand. The time of birth has come. The Ninja ZX RR emerges from the development center to scream around the circuit to be guided by test rider Akira Yanagawa. The machine was refined based on empirical data and rider feedback. With each pass of the circuit, the lap times decreased.
But the real development was just starting. The first milestone had been passed. The next goal was the Motegi MotoGP debut in October. Prior to the Motegi GP, a sending off ceremony was held at the Kawasaki factory. Would the Kamikaze wind blow favorably for the ninja sent out amidst expectation and bonsai cheers? The Ninja ZX RR was unveiled to the world at Motegi in October. Sweat and tears. And the first page of its history will be written here at Motogi. This year has been a year of testing for us. Up until now. Kawasaki's MotoGP machine wasn't the only warrior clad in lime green. October 6th, the Pacific Grand Prix Final. It had only been a short 10 months since Kawasaki's MotoGP project started. The day of the development team's number one goal, testing in actual race conditions, had actually arrived. The pit was a combination of nerves and smiles. With the world watching, a new era was about to begin. was not to go as smoothly as expected. Lime green was once again visible in the world's premier racing class. A standing ovation greeted Yanagawa as he took his place on the starting grid and calmly waited for the start signal. Everyone praying in their seats, watching spellbound from the start. Two bikes were passed, and then another. The Ninja ZX RR was steadily moving up in position. Then in lap seven, the machine developed a conspicuous oil leak.
engine, muffler, wheel. All the bike's parts were re-evaluated. A great variety of parts were tested and refined. Suzuka, November. Former Super Sport champion Andrew Pitt takes over Akira Yanagawa's role as development rider. Working in parallel with the Kawasaki Racing Team, tire development was also underway, with teams in the UK and Japan working together. Dunlop's development was advancing quickly. In order to find a tire solution that could handle the awesome power of the Ninja ZX RR, Dunlop was running repeated digital simulations. January 2003, Sepang Circuit, Malaysia. It was here that the development team brought the much evolved machine. From this point on, development would be taken over by the European race team. Only three months remained until the start of the 2003 championship. 
Kawasaki's ace, Gary McCoy, tried out the improved Ninja ZX RR. The veteran rider skillfully determined the machine's character and was soon on the pace. Using his trademark sliding style, McCoy's tuned senses searched for areas to be further upgraded. One year after the start of the MotoGP project, a new ninja filled with Kawasaki's challenging spirit was born. Design, development, testing, and various problems all were wrapped up in the lime green clad Ninja ZX RR. Kawasaki Racing Team's battle has just begun. What you've seen so far was merely a press. The real battle will begin at the Suzuka Circuit in April 2003, where once again, the Ninja ZX-RR will take to the field.